Okay, our first extravagant evening out is at the Old College Inn. Restaurant and bar. Buzzy has gone in. Okay, so. Hi, brother. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing Fred and Kathy Harvey. What's your name? Hey, Harvey. Fred. I'm Fred. Fred and so Kathy. I'm Catherine. Oh, no. I'm his videographer, his personal videographer. Yeah, well, that's he, right. He tempted me down here. <laughs> oh, hell! The Queen! Oh, the Royal Oh, the King. And this is the inside. And they're having a great time, and it's a Friday night here. Nice bar area, and they have a wonderful eating area back here, too. And they can probably accommodate parties. These are the guys responsible for making this wonderful food and shipping it out here and working their butts off because it's hot back here. We're here with Brad McGee and he's the head chef here. Check this out. Everything. Look at this. Wonderful stuff coming out of the kitchen. He makes the wonderful recipes that go in here. How long you been here? About a year. About a year. And you spun it around. Look at the line coming in the door looking at your food. Right. Now I'm here from New Jersey, and this is going to be my first tryout. Brew. Not bad. If you're down here in Louisiana, you got to go do it in Turbo Dog. This is our appetizer special tonight. This is going to be our crawfish toast. Crawfish toast? You only got one in it? Oh, there you I go. have another one coming. Compliments of the chef. Have there you eaten go. it? Hi. Have you eaten it? Yes, it's absolutely delicious. I wouldn't sell it to you if it wasn't. Oh, uh, you can sell anybody. <laughs> Lanyap. Lanyap is like the baker's dozen. It's like the extra, a little extra thrown in. A booster. Yeah, yeah, a little something thrown in. They appreciate it. All right, all right. It's a spiff. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what Lanyap is. In this, okay. In, in this particular case, it translates into compliments of the chef. Look at that. Up. What do you? What's your first impression? Mm. Oh, I heard the yum. Yeah. Good French bread. Good tomato. Just yummy. <laughs> A full mouth. This is the oysters and blue cheese. Yes, sir. And that's the uh, what? The barbecue shrimp right here. Barbecue shrimp. And another, another. Shrimp double. and more shrimp. So I'm getting my share of this poor boy here, and it's just, just dripping. Oh. It's just dripping. Oh, oh boy, yeah, oh boy. The shrimp roumelade with the fried green tomatoes here at the E. Alden, and I'm going in. Is that this, not heaven? This is a, it makes you want to get naked and bang your head against the wall. Wonderful. Oh, Check that. He's eating the whole thing. Look at that. Last time I saw a mouth like that, it was at SeaWorld. Beautiful. It's because I'm on the seafood diet. Oh, there you go. You see food, you eat it. Let's see how this you is take done. It, you take it with the bread and everything, you know, dripping sauce and everything. Just like this. This is the fried oysters with the blue cheese dressing. And normally I think oysters are like eating Coney Island at low tide. So I'm going to be a man like uh, like Zimmer would and I'm, I'm going in. oyster I've ever eaten. I can honestly say that was the best oyster I'm, uh, I'm ever eaten. Oh, you get that through the beard. Oh, there you go. <laughs> mm. There's a hole in there. It looks like feeding time at the polar bear enclosure. Old college 
Jean barbecue shrimp cake one. And look at the size, I guess you gotta eat the whole thing at once. So that being the case, I'm not gonna skim it. got that thing covered. Now you deliberately ordered that one. That one was the first thing. There was nothing else on your mind. Not really. I'm going to have to try that. You can't go wrong with grits and gouda. I'm going to have to try that. Oh, look at that. All right. Now what do you, that's your favorite burger, huh? Look at the size of that burger. <laughs> How the hell? You must be very popular when you're in high school. This is the, uh, Louisiana redfish, smothered in crab meat with uh, corn and some veggies, homegrown, I'm sure. Oh, I can't describe that flavor. It just melts in your mouth. I'm a lucky guy. As anything breaks apart in your fork, basically. The sauce is unbelievable. And that's from a Jew. Mm. <laughs> Being cross table fed now by my brother. Now, With the pork medallion. This is a pork medallion. And I'm Jewish. <laughs> and this this pork is still moist. It's a beautiful thing. Shrimp there. And there's a shrimp. And it's covered with grits. And it's got the tail on it. And I'm going in. That is, that is really good. <laughs> because of really good service and such great atmosphere, we give you the honorary handmade dollar bill ring. I like that. Oh, and it fits. Yeah. You've never got one like that, huh? And that's, that's your awesome. tip. That's awesome. Thank you very much. And that's my tip. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Hey, dear Buzzy. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Yeah. Is it your birthday today? Do you want more? I'll send no, you more. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I go in the house. Enjoy. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. So this is the famous bread pudding. And I didn't get a picture of it. Hold on. All right. As you... As you hey, disembowel it. You're right. Hold on. Yeah, Scooping up some sauce. The whiskey sauce. Okay. There we go. A little bit. Pudding. Now we know what happens to the po' boys when they're not eating. Drizzle, eatin drizzle some sauce on there now. Please. I gotta, I gotta get the whiskey sauce on this thing. All right. Now let's see if the eyes roll back into the. a little though, not overpowering. Put the spoon down, you're blocking your face and you see everything grows up. It is what they do with the leftover. Oh, decadent. The word is decadent. It's very this decadent. Is, this is worth the trip by itself. <laughs> the hell with the oysters. That's why they saved it for last. This is an amazing piece of bread pudding. This is, I think I'll have seconds. <laughs> Louisiana and New Orleans, come see us at Yule College at the best food in town. And he ain't kidding.